this is Zihar Vasho and dahil papalapit na ang susunod na PVL conference, we are here for your Team Awesome Nation with the Signal HD Spikers. We got Vanny Gander and your reigning MVP, Ses Malina. <laughs> Woo! Kaya <naman> guys. <laughs> Ayan, so ngayon, alam natin, we wanted to hear some stories, some, you know, encouragement uh, from them. Kaya ngayon, I just wanted to ask, Alam natin na uh, it was such a roller coaster of the past few months. But kamusta ang ginawa natin after the PBL conference? Let's start with our reigning MVP, Sess. Um, binigyan kami ni Coach Hack ng rest talaga para makarecover kami. Dahil yung nakaraang conference uh, talaga mabigat and talagang, uh, what do you call this, uh, naging mataas yung competition. So talagang pagod kami. Kailangan namin mag-recover para sa darating na, con na conference. How about you, Vani? Sabi ko nga, parang mas roller coaster riding sa iyo cuz in a span of how many months you were just in the UAAP, you jumped over to the professional ranks. And yung mas matindi pa, during the game, she attended her graduation, ran to a PVL game and the bad jumped in in a game. So how was the past few months like for you? Yeah, it's really been a roller coaster ride, but I'm not complaining. Like I am right now I'm where I'm in a place now I used to pray for. So yeah. I'm really grateful for where I am right now. And um yeah, it's been a really fun experience so far with Team Signal and I'm enjoying. How is it like playing alongside Ses Malina? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, Atisess knows that she's been my idol before pa. Right. So like in training when I watch her, I always tell her, I'm like, wow. <laughs> Even in games, I'm like, I love you, Ate. <laughs> but yeah, um, of course it's amazing to be learning from her firsthand because I used to watch her videos before. Wow. And now, yeah. She's scout ka na niya, girl. <laughs> yeah, so that I can learn. Okay. Now I can learn from her like directly, so I, I enjoy it so much. and. All our teammates in the bench always look at me whenever at the uh -huh. set makes a point because I'm always like, <laughs> even wow. to the games. Yeah, <laughs> Vanny Gandler, a new addition to your team, and you know looks up to you with so much respect. So <laughs> much. Yeah, I'm just so overwhelmed because parang andami mo na inspire and you know yung yung mga great players din na makakasama mo na sa sabi nila sa yon na na inspire sila sa mga ginagawa mo. And such a motivation para mag Mag work hard pa. Speaking of working hard and motivation, let's talk about how you got the crown, the MVP award <laughs> in the last conference. After so many years uh, playing volleyball, yeah. can you tell us about what yung nagbago? Siguro sa team, kasi team achievement din naman na mag, yeah. uh, podium finish. And cherry on top was the MVP award. Like what changed in your routine, what you eat, how you slept? Anong, anong, anong bago? <laughs> Oh, well, I don't think na kailangan to change lahat. Um, I think it's about parang counting pressure yung dumagdag sa akin dahil syempre uh, I need to prove something. I need to prove more kasi uh, meron akong pinanghahawakan ngayon. But then uh, yung training ngayon, mas na-enjoy ko siya kasi I have something na may motivation ako ngayon na bago. And uh, yung motivation yun gusto ko talaga na madala lahat ng team namin. Um, yung yung vibes, yung energy gusto ko mabigay din sa kanila and yun sobrang happy lang ako na nakabalik kami sa podium sa podium finish dahil you know from last conference pang ilan kami so yun tuli tuli lang kami what's something that you learned that you had to improve on or to add on to your skill set now that you're in the professional level I think of course everything naman. Oh, my, my defense. Um, I think my defense is one of the skills that really improved under um, Team Signal. Okay. I think everyone knows in Ateneo it was really shaky. Okay. And um, everything blocking. Yeah. <laughs> I, but I've been saying this since college, blocking. Everything naman. My maturity in the court. Yes, okay. So I think it comes to the more mental aspect of everything. So my maturity and the confidence right. that I have when I play. It's funny. It's like a, a happy feel also. To this okay. So I really want to commend Bunny to... Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just really proud of Bunny because whenever the team needs her, okay. like she always step up. Especially in crucial games. Namin. Yeah. Oh, I'll 
add. Um, for me, like coming into the team as a rookie, I got inspired because they're all veterans. They've been playing in the league for so long, but right. every day in training, I see that they want to learn. Okay. Yeah. So for me, as a rookie coming in, I was like, wow, like they've been doing this for so long, yet they're not tired of learning something new. I really see their passion and their commitment to improve. So that really pushed me to be like, okay, yeah, I have so much to learn in this team. Speaking of learning new things, uh, Cez, nakuha mo na yung MVP award. Inisip na mga tao, ah, ito na yung peak niya. But how do you feel being the reigning MVP? Ano sa tingin mo, ano, yung, ano pa yung pwede mo pang dagdagan? Skill set or stuff outside the court? I think, um, hindi lang sa sarili na. Siguro the team, uh, has a lot to offer pa sa, sa PBL, sa mga, sa mga viewers and sa mga fans. Kasi um, sa signal, hindi talaga kami natatapos. Hindi natatapos okay. lahat yung skills namin. Every day, ang dami, ang dami mo pang kailangan gawin. Ang dami mo pang kailangan trabahuhin. Um, sinasabi talaga, and pinakamukha talaga sa'yo ni Coach Shaq na, hindi ka pa sobrang galing. Okay. Marami ka pang kailangan gawin. Hindi ka pa ganito ka veteran. Kailangan niyo improve mo pa to. Lahat ng aspeto, lahat ng skills. Hindi dahil spikers ka, hindi mo kayang gawin yung ginagawa ng libero. If you're not locker, hindi ko pwedeng gawin to. Whatsoever. Parang sinasabi ni Coach Hank palagi na, lahat kayo nagkitraining sabay-sabay. Isa yung ginagawa. So, wala kayong hindi kayang gawin. So, you've been part of the community for a while now. Sino yung pinaka-OG or idol mo outside of the Team Awesome Nation? Bawa pun kita, so orang dame. Peru, I would stick sa ke Ate Aisa. First Ate Ate Aisa Maisa. We've been teammate also, and you know, kung ganu sya kaber sa tayo. Yes. Sobra. And being a left-handed, ni napa sahen. I think tapuan kita lagi si Ate Aisa. Second is Rhea de Makolangan. Being a setter naman. Parang pangarap ko rin kasi dati na maging setter. But Me? Then, yeah. Press time. Sure. <laughs> and na-realize ko na mahirap kasi you need to be the driver of the team, ganyan. So, I think at Rhea, yung pinaka-role uh, model na setter para sa akin. And last is, siguro si Don Makandili. Don. So, yeah. si Don Makandili. From uh, defense talaga and yung first ball, lahat. Hindi siya tatawaging miss. <laughs> everywhere. Like, everywhere. Yeah. yeah hindi niya kaya gawin lahat. I agree. Most likely, yun din yung top 3 ko. But let's hear it from Vanny. Sino pa yung iba mong pinapanood na videos before? <laughs> Who's your um, top 3? Um, number 1 has to be Todd Scarlett from the last conference. Okay. Like, yep, yep. I think everyone's seen how much she's grown also and it's pretty amazing watching yeah. her. Um, another one, of course, Ate Gia Morado. Right. Yeah, when she sets, it's like, wow. Gee, amazing, talaga. Yeah, really. <laughs> um, and third. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this says. <laughs> I don't know right now. I can't think Someone that makes you think that, man, I wish I was her oh. teammate. CC Randina. Okay. She just came in, but wow, I think yeah. everyone knows how much she's contributed in Chakamucho. Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, huwag niyo masyadong galingan kasi maglalaro pa rin ako, hopefully. But thank you for your time today. Uh, once again, this has been Vanny Gander and Cesc Molina of your Team Awesome Nation. And this has been Zihar Basho. Tune in to the game for more catch-ups and tulitan.